for me, having a wide array of sounds at, you know, at my fingertips is, is really important. Just to, um, I, th I think it's more how I'm drawn to the sound, you know what I mean? Like uh, I can have two drum kits set up um, that maybe look identical, but the way that this one is tuned or has heads on it or that it has this other symbol, I can walk up and be completely excited to play that and play it completely differently than I would another kit. Um, and I've always been that way. Certain things, um, sounds just inspire me. I've just got an old marimba here, World War II circa. That's why the resonators are cardboard instead of metal. This was given to me by my wife's grandmother. And it's just a little chicken paddle. I get asked about this all the time. Um, it was a wedding present. It's a fruit bowl, a fruit basket, which um, I, of course, tapped on. It didn't sound that great, but when you hang it from a rubber band over a contact mic... It sounds like a pretty awesome gong. So I like using contact mics, and I'll probably have So do something like that as well, um, just because uh, all, you know, just normal, normal instruments or normal household objects can turn into pretty cool sounds and great instruments. Another sound I love using, um, Zildjian also makes these for me. These are regular cymbals, but they're taken off about the first third of the cymbal making process. They're not lathed yet, they're not uh, hammered out, so the sound possibilities are, are great. And I guess that just kind of relates to my whole approach is finding as many different sound possibilities um, as possible.